Electrochemical energy storage batteries are devices that convert chemical energy into electrical energy. They are made up of one or more electrochemical cells, which consist of two electrodes, anode and cathode, separated by an electrolyte. When a battery is being charged, an external power source, such as a wall socket, is connected to the battery, which provides energy to the battery. This energy causes a chemical reaction to occur inside the battery, which stores the energy in the form of electrochemical potential. Inside the battery, there are two electrodes, the anode and cathode, which are separated by an electrolyte. The anode is usually made of a metal, such as lithium, and the cathode is typically made of a metal oxide, such as cobalt oxide. The electrolyte is usually a liquid or gel that contains charged particles, ions, that can move between the anode and cathode. When the battery is being charged, the external power source provides energy to the anode, which causes it to undergo an oxidation reaction. This reaction releases electrons into the external circuit, the wires connecting the battery to the charger, which creates an electric current that flows to the cathode. At the same time, the cathode undergoes a reduction reaction, which causes it to accept the electrons from the external circuit. This reaction is facilitated by the movement of the ions in the electrolyte, which shuttle between the anode and cathode to balance the charge. The overall effect of this process is to store energy in the battery, in the form of electrochemical potential. When the battery is later used to power a device, the process is reversed, the anode undergoes a reduction reaction, accepting electrons from the external circuit, while the cathode undergoes an oxidation reaction, releasing electrons back into the external circuit. The movement of electrons through the external circuit creates a flow of electrical energy that can be used to power devices. Certainly. When a battery is discharged, the stored electrochemical potential is converted back into electrical energy that can be used to power devices. During the discharge process, the battery's anode undergoes a reduction reaction, which causes it to accept electrons from the external circuit, the wires connecting the battery to the device. This reaction is facilitated by the movement of the ions in the electrolyte, which shuttle between the anode and cathode to balance the charge. At the same time, the cathode undergoes an oxidation reaction, which causes it to release electrons back into the external circuit. The movement of electrons through the external circuit creates a flow of electrical energy that can be used to power devices. The voltage between the anode and cathode is generated by the difference in electrochemical potential between the two electrodes. This potential difference is a measure of the stored energy in the battery, and it determines the voltage of the battery when it is fully charged. As the battery discharges, the electrochemical potential decreases, and so does the voltage. When the voltage drops below a certain level, the battery is considered to be dead and can no longer power devices. Overall, the discharge process of a battery involves the conversion of stored electrochemical potential into electrical energy that can be used to power devices. This process is the reverse of the charging process, and it is what allows batteries to be a portable and reliable source of power. Certainly. The specific chemistry of a battery refers to the materials used to construct the battery, including the type of electrodes and electrolyte. This chemistry plays a significant role in determining the battery's capacity, voltage, and other characteristics. Let's take a look at the examples you mentioned. Lithium-ion batteries use lithium ions to shuttle between the anode and cathode during charge and discharge. The anode is typically made of graphite, while the cathode is usually made of a lithium metal oxide, such as lithium cobalt oxide. The electrolyte is a lithium salt dissolved in an organic solvent. During charging, lithium ions are extracted from the cathode and move through the electrolyte to the anode, where they are stored. During discharge, the ions move back to the cathode, releasing their stored energy in the process. Lithium ion batteries are known for their high energy density, long cycle life, and low self-discharge rate. Lead acid batteries use lead and lead oxide for their electrodes, with a sulfuric acid electrolyte. During charging, the lead oxide on the positive electrode is converted to lead dioxide, while the lead on the negative electrode is converted to lead sulfate. During discharge, the opposite reaction occurs. With lead sulfate on the negative electrode being converted to lead and lead dioxide on the positive electrode being converted to lead sulfate. Lead acid batteries are known for their low cost, high power output, and ability to provide a large amount of energy quickly, 
but they have a relatively low energy density and shorter cycle life compared to other battery chemistries. Other battery chemistries, such as nickel cadmium, nickel metal hydride, and solid state batteries, use different materials and chemistries to achieve their specific characteristics. Overall, the specific chemistry of a battery is a crucial factor in determining its performance, including capacity, voltage, cycle life, and energy density. Different battery chemistries are better suited for different applications, and researchers continue to explore new materials and designs to improve battery technology. Battery technology is constantly evolving, with new materials and designs being developed to improve performance, durability, and safety. Some of the latest developments in battery technology include solid-state batteries, which use a solid electrolyte instead of a liquid one, and flow batteries, which use a liquid electrolyte that can be refilled to extend the battery's life.